Hey everybody, thanks for joining. Today we're going to go over using DS bulk load to Estra. Uh, things we'll cover uh, four basic components of the bulk load. Um, there's a lot more options to it, but this is just going to show some of the, the basic versions. Um, and using uh, DS bulk 1.6.0, um, we'll also learn where to find the download for DS bulk and more information about how to use it and what some of the switches are for using it. And then uh, I'll also show an example script of a, uh, an upload of some data and a demo of that, that upload. Um, so just a, uh, a reminder that uh, this is a knowledge share and uh, future releases of DS bulk uh, may have different options and different switches. So um, just be aware of that. So you need four initial components to do a, a basic load of data. Um, the first being the Datastax uh, bulk loader, which you can get from the download site. Uh, so you need to pick uh, whichever version works for you, whether it's Mac slash Linux or Windows, um, and download that and put it somewhere um, in a file directory that you'll need later. Um, just to note here, there is a link to the documentation, which is uh, really good to be able to go and get information about the bulk loader and a lot of the different options and switches that you can uh, can use with it. Uh, so the second piece of information that you need is actually on Astra and that is uh, all of the the security and connection information that you need. So you need the username, password, and then there's this neat little authentication package that has basically all of the other um, stuff that's needed to connect to Astra so you don't have to fiddle with uh, setting a bunch of connection options and stuff. Uh, the third piece of information is uh, the data that you're going to upload to Astra. And then of course the fourth piece of information is what is the key space and table that you're uploading that information to. So let's look at the uh, command that I've put together here and walk through what each of these different lines mean. So this first line is simply where you've put the uh, the bulk loader on your uh, on your PC or laptop or uh, server. Second line is the load command and where the uh, data is on your local machine that you're going to be loading to Astro. So you can see mine is in this drive and I'm going to be using this city temp clean file which you can see is in this folder right here. Third line is uh, the uh, key space and the table that you're going to be loading the data to. Pretty self-explanatory. The next piece of data, um, the next two pieces of data are actually the uh, connection bundle and then the username and password. So the connection bundle is simply this zip file that you download from Astra um, that has all of the connection details and everything in it. And then of course, username and password. So let's go ahead and uh, run this command. So you can see that there's this operational directory here and that's where all the logs go for this specific command. See it starts uploading the data here and then I'm actually gonna show you that location of the logs. and each load uses a separate directory that has one or many files. Now, if the load has issues with a specific record in that file, it will write out a bad rows file into, uh, into this directory as well. At this point, I'm gonna fast forward the video so that we don't have to sit here and watch this load um, as it does take a few minutes to complete. Okay, so we can see that the uh, load has completed about 2.8 million rows, uh, an average time of uh, about 3,807 rows per second with zero failed transactions. Um, just to note that this is being done on a, a free cluster, so performance may vary with uh, different uh, sizes of an Astra cluster that you may have, uh, um, have running. Probably get a lot better performance on a, on a bigger cluster. All right, well, thanks for watching, 
if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to uh, your DataStax representative.